shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. But what do you guys think about having the capability of changing your own tires? What do you think about that, uh, JC? Man, I think you hit the nail on the head with that because, you know, when it comes to uh, doing uh, bike maintenance in general, uh, the cost that gets higher and higher, you know, a lot of these dealers, they're charging $100, uh, $125, $135 an hour for labor. So it's more, it's getting more and more important to learn how to do your own maintenance. And, and to be able to do it yourself. When it comes to the tires, uh, what you run into there is the dealers, it's not just a matter of price. A lot of them just won't hardly work on it. And, and you know, when you got these big bikes like the Goldwing and you need to put a car tire on the back, they simply won't do it. And, and even on the, the ones that have the, the bike tires, if you have a flat, they won't fix it anymore. So, you know, they say, well, we'll sell you the kit, but we won't fix it. Right. So, you know, it's really good to have your own tire machine. You know, uh, if you get a flat, you can fix it yourself. And if you want to put a car tire on there, you can mount it yourself. So, uh, you know, it, it's really, it's, it's really a, a big advantage, a big advantage. Right. Well, as you can see, I have my own machine. I absolutely love it. It actually matches the Gold Wing. It actually matches the Gold Wing. If you guys are yeah, tuning I in, that was the same color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it matches the Gold yeah. Wing. I know a lot of you are tuning in uh, on the live broadcast, and and I'm just putting up a picture of the tire machine. But it's it's right here in my background. As you guys know, I do a lot of my own maintenance. I do a lot of my own maintenance, and uh, I try to save money. And uh, I try to save you guys money as well. That's one of the reasons why I put up a lot of the videos to try to show you guys how to work on your own bike to let you guys know that you can do it. Um, I recommend just, you know, go into your Honda dealer, get you a service manual. You can even find these things on eBay. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, you can find them online. I recommend that if you have a Goldwing or a Harley or whatever type of uh, motorcycle you ride, Find a service manual, find a service manual and learn how to work on your own bike. You're going to save money in the long run because who can afford to pay a mechanic to work on your bike every time you need something done. So when you're riding your bike, at some point, you're going to have to do maintenance. You're yeah, gonna... and if you if you learn to do the maintenance yourself, then you can save some of the big jobs for when you have to go to the dealer. Correct. But, you know, you know, every, you know, all these guys riding gold wings, and, you know, these are expensive motorcycles, you know, and you got insurance on it. It really, it really would be good for people to learn more about doing their own maintenance, you know, because there are things that have to be done. And a lot of people end up skipping it. Because they don't want to go to dealer, either they don't want to spend the money or may not be able to spend the money to do it. And, you know, it, it could be something really affordable, really cheap, you know, like oil changes. And the dealer might be charging over $100 for it. And, uh, you know, you got people that end up uh, skipping maintenance. And then you get down the road and the bike starts breaking down. And that's never convenient. You could be out on a ride with somebody and, uh, you know, when your bike breaks down, you got to have it towed, uh, you know, not towed, but picked up. And, uh, you know, you end up stranded somewhere. So it's really important to learn how to do your own maintenance. Yeah. And that's part of the hobby. Yeah. That should be considered part of the hobby. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate to see a lot of guys grown men, you know, actually that, you know, they drive these million dollar bikes and never turn the screw on it, you know, and, uh, 
you know, it, it's time. It, it, that, that's a bad move, you know. I, I told I, I totally agree with you, JC. And and you and I have had many conversations uh in the past. Uh I know a lot of bikers, you know a lot of bikers, and they do not know how to work on their bike. They're intimidated, they're afraid. But I'm here to tell you that if I can do it, you can do it. Uh yeah. you need to buy a tool kit for your bike. And we'll be getting into that a little bit later. Uh, throughout the riding season, we're going to be talking about some of the things that you're going to need as a motorcycle owner. We're going to be talking yeah. about things that you should know as a motorcycle owner. So not only uh, is riding the bike fun, you need to learn how to work on a bike and save yourself some money because you're not going to be able to afford to pay a mechanic to work on your bike every time it needs something. And as long as uh, parts are moving and you're bumping down the road, uh, a lot of these streets are bad. You got potholes, you got road buckles. Things are going to vibrate loose. Things are going to come loose. They're going to bump loose and you're going to need to know how to fix it. So that's one of the reasons why I purchased uh, my tire machine uh, that's behind me uh, when it comes to uh, putting on a car tire. These shops do not want to put on a car tire. They just don't want to do it. Uh, they're going to tell you that the insurance companies um, won't cover them or, you know, the insurance companies won't allow them to do it. And so, you know, they're just not going to do it. So you're going to have to really look for someone out there to mount your tires. And you got a lot of shops out there that will do it. They don't have a problem. But a lot of shops. I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of comments. People ask me, where can I take my my motorcycle tire and have a, you know, have the uh, car tire put on? And, uh, you know, you're just going to have to just do some research and ask around. But this is the reason why I bought my own machine, because I wanted to be able to mount my own tires. I got some uh, work uh, that I'm going to be doing on my gold wing a little bit later, and I'm going to need to remove the tires. And I don't want to be running down to a shop uh, looking for a mechanic to change out my tires uh, every time I need them. So I just decided to invest in my own uh, tire machine. I'll be showing you guys how it works a little bit later in some videos. Uh, but I'm totally happy. It was a good investment. It was something that I needed. And, you know, there's nothing like being able to do your own work. So that's what we're talking about today. Uh, we're joined by JC. JC is uh, the biker that actually a friend of mine that got me started dark siding a few years ago. And I haven't looked back. I absolutely love it. And we just want to get the motorcycle community, the bikers together to let you know that you can do your own maintenance. You can change your own tires. Now, some of you may not be able to get a uh a tire machine but they sell uh smaller tire machines they sell you can pick them up at harbor freight you can pick them up on ebay uh the manual tire machine so you can do it yourself uh this machine just makes it easier for me to be able to mount my own car tire so i do not have to worry from this point forward about uh, a shop mounting my tires and i can do my my cars as well my vehicle so if I need to uh, fix a flat or work on my vehicles, I can take those tires off. I can rotate and I can uh, switch those tires out as needed. So we're live in the Caliente Garage. If any of you are watching this and you would like to call in, say hello to your, your boy, Chris. This would be a good opportunity. The phone line is open 901-468-9033. Two, I will be uh, glad to hear from some of you guys that watch my videos. And if you guys actually watch my videos, I'm going to be giving away some Caliente flags. A lot of you been asking about the Caliente flags. If you want to call in, if you want to call in to your boy, Chris, and you want to tell me what is your favorite video? that I actually have in my video library. I'm going to give you a free Caliente flag free of charge. I'm going to send it to you absolutely free. 
you're going to have to call me at 901-468-9032 doing this broadcast only. And I want you to tell me what is your favorite Caliente video that I actually posted on my library channel. It doesn't matter how old the video is. If you would call me and let me know what is your favorite video that I posted in my library, I'm going to give you a Caliente flags. Now I only have a, a limited amount. So if you want to call 901-468-9032 and you want to tell me what is your favorite Caliente video and why, I'm going to send you a free Caliente flag. The phone line is open. Now, Chris, uh, does this have to be a maintenance video or any video? It could be any video. Any video. It could be any video oh. that I actually posted that you actually, it, 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 it touched you, it helped you, and you really like it. What was your favorite Caliente video? And I'm going to give you a free Caliente flag, the official Caliente flag, just like the one back here that I uh, have on my bike. 901-468-9032 if you want to get a Caliente flag. Well, that would be nice. That would yeah. be nice. So I'm just reading some of the comments. Um yeah, and my Can-Am 622 trailer, a lot of you have been asking about my trailer. My Can-Am 622 trailer. There it is right there. That's my Can-Am 622. It's like candy. It look good. It pulls good. A lot of you have been looking for this Can-Am trailer. The Can-Am 622. But I must tell you that this trailer is hard to find because Can-Am doesn't make this trailer anymore. It's hard to find. If you can find it, um, good luck. They replaced it with the Freedom trailer. So you're not out of luck on that. They do have a replacement. The Can-Am Freedom trailer. The difference between the Freedom trailer and the 622 is that the Freedom trailer only has a single lid. It opens uh, from a single lid this can am 622 has uh, two lids uh, on top so that is the difference one lid versus two lids um, the shape is a little bit different on the freedom trailer but they're gonna both pull uh, the same so if you can't find a 622 the next best thing would be the can am freedom trailer so a lot of you've been asking where can you get it? Can you find me a 622? I love your, your Can-Am trailer. I must tell you that they're hard to find. If you can find it, you better snatch it up. Most likely, you're going to need to get it painted. But if you can't find a 622, you can always go to a Can-Am dealer and tell them you want the Can-Am Freedom trailer. I know a lot of you may not like the Freedom trailer, but they don't make this Can-Am 622 trailer no longer it's hard to find and if you can find one i would suggest that you snatch it up when did they quit making the uh 622 you know that's a very good question when did they stop making the can-am 622 and hopefully one of my viewers can answer this question i think it was 2014 yeah so i'm just i know that you left around until you bought one and had it painted up real fancy now you can't find them. <laughs> yeah, and my painter did a very good job. If anybody need a trailer painted, my painter name is Chris. He's over at Horizon Trike out there in Arkansas. And I'll put his telephone number down in the description of this video. Horizon Trikes, his name is Chris. He actually painted the trailer for me. And if you let him do the work for you, Call them and tell them you want the Caliente special. The Caliente, Chris Caliente paint special. So yeah. it doesn't have to be a Can-Am 622. It could be a, a Bush Tech trailer. Uh, it could be a, a Escapade trailer. It could be a Time Out trailer. You know, it could be something uh, that you found on eBay. It doesn't matter. He'll paint it for you. Uh he painted my trailer. He did a very good job. As you can see, I got the two-tone color. He's over in Arkansas. He's very reasonable. His name is Chris at Horizon Trikes. And tell him you want the Caliente special. And I will put his telephone number 
uh, down in the link of this video if anybody want to reach out to Chris over at Horizon Trike because you want to get your trailer painted. So I'm going to read some of the comments. Uh, we got Hubert McGee that says, hey, Chris, check and see if anyone knows who wants to sell a RT622 Can-Am trailer. Thanks, Big Mac. So Big Mac is saying to anybody that's watching this feed, if you know of anybody that has a Can-Am 622, he's interested in finding one. So be sure to put that uh, in your comments or you can call me at 901-468-9032. You can even text me if you like. If anybody out there has a Can-Am 622 that they know is for sale. So we're joined by James Robinson. What's going on, James? Ricky Mad Dog. Anthony Crookhaven, Fred, Hasten Fang, Will Pierce. We got Albert, Melvin Proctor. How y'all doing? How you doing, Yvette? I see you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yvette said, glad to see you doing one of the things you like to do. Yeah, I, I really do. It's been a while. I hadn't made any videos. Uh, this would actually be my first video of 2021. That is correct. Yeah. yeah. Jamie Lyon Linhart says uh, my videos are very informative. Brad Andrews, he's watching from Newfoundland, Canada. Newfoundland, Canada. What's going on, Brad? I see you, my brother. And Albert says another advantage of doing your own tires is you can work at your own schedule. Many shops make you wait sometime weeks to get your bike in for servicing. That is true. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. I know um, I had to have some work done on my bike last week, last year. Uh, you know, the um, steering head bearings, those all ball steering head bearings. And, you know, I had to set my appointment. When I first started calling uh, around to different shops, uh, they were telling me they were five and six weeks out. Yeah. And I finally set an appointment, which I couldn't have done that job anyway. But um, I didn't have the tools or the know-how. But when I finally did get it scheduled, uh, I scheduled it uh, the 1st of September for an appointment the end of October, the last the last week in October. So, yeah, you know, it... it uh, Regardless of what the job is, a lot of times they'll tell you, you know, well, especially during riding season, you know, which is most likely when you're going to need some work. Right. And uh, they'll tell you, well, you know, we're, we're, we're five, six weeks, you know, out. So you can just schedule an appointment. And even then, even though you tell them, okay, I'm at your mercy, I'll set my appointment for five weeks from now. When you come in, they still want you to just drop it off and leave it for a few weeks. Right. Even then, it's not going to be, you would think if you set it up, when they told you to set it up, you know, you could drive it, ride in, and get the work done. Right. But it's still going to be, no, you have to leave it. Yeah. Leave yeah. it here, drop it off, have somebody follow you, drop the bike off, and then take you back home, and you got to come back in a few weeks. It's, um... It's a nightmare. You know, I have to say, luckily, you know, uh, I've never done that. Right. Because I studied the manual and I learned how to do almost all of my work. Let me let me say this, JC. I don't mean to sound like a broken record for you guys just tuning in for you motorcycle riders that love riding your gold wings Buy a service manual. Uh, this book is going to give you so much information. It's not going to tell you everything, but it's going to tell you uh, the basics. A lot of the things that you're going to need to know about your gold wing. You can pick these up at the dealership. You can get them on Amazon. You can find them on eBay. Get a service manual for your bike and go through this thing. It's going to tell you your service interviews, what has to be done. Uh, it's going to run down the electrical. Well, this one here actually has electrical so i can even do electrical troubleshooting uh with this service manual i know it it's a thick book 
it's going to seem intimidating to some of you that never did this, but get, invest in a service manual for uh, your motorcycle. Because like JC said, and like Fred has said, when you go into these shops, they're going to make you, excuse me, they're going to make you wait. Uh, let me tell you a true story, and I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. One of the reasons why I purchased my tire machine is that I was doing some work. If you guys, you know, been keeping up my videos, I did some work for Mark and uh, Mark wanted to go to the dark side. He wanted to go to the dark side. I'm going to pull up uh, some pictures, I think. Mark had a, a, a bike that looks like this one and he wanted to, he wanted to double dark side it and his tires was wore out. So he actually uh, brought it over to me to have the tires taken off, to do the maintenance on his bike and then have the tires taken off uh, at my tire guy and put on his dark side tires. So I tried to call my tire guy and I couldn't reach him. I went over to his shop. I waited around. He had a note on the door so he'll be back in an hour or two. Um, I left. I came back the next day with the tires. I sat there about another half hour. He showed up and uh, I said, man, I've been trying to call you. He said, well, you know, I've been real busy and and uh, I just got a lot of work going on. I really can't you know, do anything right now. Um, but he was nice enough. You know, I had the tires with me. He said, well, go ahead and leave them with me and uh, I'll I'll call you when they're ready. So he did. He called me uh, a few hours later and told me I can come pick the tires up. Very nice guy. Um, but when you go into these shops, you know, even even for myself, you know, sometimes these these mechanics, tire men, you know, they want to make you feel like they doing you a favor. They doing you a favor. Now, you're paying them for a service. You got to wait on them. Uh, you're on their schedule. And, you know, that's sometimes a, a big inconvenience. And the reason why I brought this story up is because this is one of the reasons why I just went on and purchased my own tire machine. But there's nothing like having your own machine to do your own work or to be able to work on your own bike or to be able to um, just do your own work to have your own. So invest in some tools, get the things you need, buy a service manual. And try to do some of the things yourself because you're not going to be able to pay somebody to work on your bike every time you need work. Even for myself, much work as I know how to do some things I may can't do, but I don't want to pay somebody every time I need work on my bike. So I brought that up to say that this is the reason why I bought this new tire machine behind me. I don't want anyone making me feel like they're doing me a favor. I wanted to be yeah, able to have my own machine. To go to the, to go right, to right. I'm having to drive across town. I know some people drive 100 miles, 200 miles, and I understand that I get it. You do what you got to do. But, you know, there's nothing like having your own machine and working on your bike. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to go to anybody to, and and be at their at their at their call. You can do it on your yeah. own. So I just I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. And another thing, uh, Chris, you know, uh, it, it's good for everybody to get the toolkit. You know, uh, up until 2012, uh, every gold wing had a toolkit. In fact, all motorcycles come with a toolkit. Now, some of them are, you know, um, really flimsy, you know, cheesy tools that aren't good for anything. But I, I've had enough bikes to know. But... I noticed on the Gold Wing, it's a really good comprehensive tool set. And uh, for some reason, after 2010, they quit putting it in the bike. Maybe they just assumed everybody was going to the dealer. And uh, they had their own reasons. But, you know, that toolkit is only about $70, $75. And on the Gold Wing, that toolkit can just about disassemble that bike as far as the maintenance stuff. You can take just that toolkit, fits in its own little pouch in the left saddlebag. The tools in that toolkit 
can be used to change the lights, to uh, change your oil and filter. Right. Uh, it can be used to take the shelter off. I use it every time. Right. You know, it can be used to. Uh, you could you can use it to uh, change your brake pads. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, do work up around the handlebar. You know, handlebar area. So you know, change your, your tail lights. Like you got a call Stand by. We're on, you're on with Caliente Live in the Caliente Garage. Go ahead, caller. Hey, Chris, how you doing? What's going on, my brother? Have you so, ever been to a bike weekend down there before? Say so what now? I'm gonna take you off my. I take off my. Have you ever been down at that that bike we done it before? I haven't. I have not. I have. I have not. Um. I know God's Godspeed actually um supposed to be down there down at uh Daytona Bike Week. Okay. Uh, but I I haven't I haven't I haven't been there. Okay, yeah. I, I, one of these days when uh, when I retire maybe I'll probably do something like that. Right. <laughs> yeah, well I mean I said we we tired the you know uh Right. Yeah, uh, cuz I I'll be at work. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully, um, we'll, we'll see. We'll, you know, we'll see. Uh, you know, I've been having some some personal things going on, so I hadn't been riding this year yet. But, um, uh, like I said, I'm back. This is my first vid for the year. I'm glad to be back. I was on a hiatus, as they say, a sabbatical. <laughs> How you guys want to call it? <laughs> I'm working. Work I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You gonna have to call me on the private line. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, you gonna have to call me on the private line, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, know, you try to put me okay. on blast. <laughs> but, uh, I'm glad you're up and about. You know, and, uh, and doing good for yourself. I feel better, man. I really do. I feel better. It's it's been it's been kind of rough coming out of the uh, winter season. Um, but I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be here, you know, with this, you know, COVID um, running rampant. You know, I had my vaccine um, done. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of glad. Done. You got them both done? Well, I got one more that I have to do, uh, you know, at the end of the 30 day. Um, oh. I tried to, you know, actually uh, make it. made days. A, like 21 days, 30 days. Well, it's 30 days with the with the Moderna vaccine. It's 30 days um, okay. after you okay. after your initial shot. It's the same with Pfizer. Now Johnson and Johnson came out with a uh, with the one they shot deal. The dose. Right, Johnson and Johnson has the single dose. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I feel good. I took the uh, the COVID shot. I didn't have any. Um, I didn't have any negative effects or side effects. Now I will say yeah. my arm was sore. My arm was sore. Yeah. My arm, the first day I actually didn't feel the shot. The second day it was a little sore. The third day yeah. it, it was just, I couldn't even sleep on it, but by that fourth day yeah. it just went away. It was, you know, so I don't yeah. know, was that a result of the needle going into my muscle or if it was what was actually in the shot going into my arm, but my arm was pretty sore. Uh, for one good day and after that it just it you know it slowly went away but that was the only you know that was the only side effect that i had so well uh, uh, well chris i also took the madonna uh uh, and, uh my first shot my arm was sore uh but i since i'm a nurse i gave you know a couple hundred people their uh visor shot a couple weeks ago that visor you Point three milligrams milli, uh, milli, milliliters. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Madonna uses point five, so it's it's more in the Madonna uh, syringe that had to go in your arm. So you know that that that, that could have you know uh, you know you got more fluid in your arm basically you know compared to the Pfizer. Right. Uh, but uh, back on that Madonna, uh, my, that second shot, uh, I, I I took that shot in January. Right. I. I did get a little chill, uh, you know, uh, uh, 
on that second shot. I didn't get chills the exact that date, but I got chills the day after or something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, some people. Well, but what happened? Uh, I what happened? My arms were so sore the second day. I took a hot. Uh, I put I put some hot hot towel on my arm. Uh huh. Man, I put that hot towel on my arm that second day. Man, I was chills and shaking and everything. I was like, man. Right. Because I, I wanted the soreness to go away, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it went away, you know. Uh, but man, I was like, I was like I but then when they said, uh, Madonna do give you a little chill to take a shot. If you guys are watching this feed, if you had a negative a side effect after taking the COVID vaccine, call me in. Uh, call, let me know, 901 468 9032, or post it uh, here on the broadcast, 901 468 9032. You can put it down in the comment section if you had. Uh, negative effect with the uh, coronavirus vaccine. And we'll be talking about that uh, just a little bit later on. We're on with JC. We got JC on the line. What's uh, up, buddy? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, is, who am I talking to? Uh, it's Mark, man. It's Mark. I thought, I thought it was you, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> I didn't want to say. But yeah, man, I, uh, I'm getting my... Uh, Getting my vaccination on Friday, the night, uh, yeah, this Friday. I guess that would okay. be the. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, good. I, I, uh, I thought uh, they should have given to y'all a long time ago. What's that coming in? I said they should have given y'all a long time ago, y'all around that, the public and stuff. Yeah, I know, but they didn't acknowledge that. Yeah. The only reason is that the president. Uh, decided, you know, he opened it up to include, in addition to the 65-year uh, age group, you know, he, he included uh, postal workers and church workers and a lot of other people that at first weren't included, you know, with, with doctors and nurses and teachers and firefighters and policemen. Yeah. And so now it includes, uh, it even includes poultry workers. If you work on a farm or in a business, <laughs> Uh, you know, farm animals or whatever, you, you have, a, uh, it's open for them, too. So, uh, yeah, I got mine uh, scheduled for Friday at 3.30, so I'm looking forward to getting that one, and then uh, however long I have to wait. She said she would schedule the second shot when I got there and got the first one. Okay. Uh, hey, JC, I thought it knew. I thought it knew, but y'all, y'all go for somebody to take this joint with me. Hey Mark, we're we're uh we we experienced some technical difficulties. We're we're gonna call you. Get, we're gonna call you right back on this other line. Yeah, okay. it's a lot of echo. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of echo. Um, uh, if you want to get on, the phone line is wide open. 901-468-9032. 901-468-9032. We had a couple of people trying to call. They couldn't get in. If you want to call back, the phone line is wide open. 901-468-9032 is the phone line. So we're on yeah. with JC. We talk. Bing. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead, caller. You're on with Caliente live in the Caliente garage. Go ahead. Chris, my man, what's going on? This is Dustin, man. How you doing? What's up, Dustin? Where you calling from, Dustin? Man, I'm, uh, I'm down here in Brandon, Mississippi, just hanging out. Hanging Brandon, out. Mississippi, yeah, hanging out. What's hey, going on, I'm Dustin? I'm video, and I see, the, I see the nice red bike. I'm used to seeing that. Uh huh. But now I'm looking at this other big red monster on the other side. What, what, what is, man? Where'd you get this? What's going on back there? <laughs> well, Dustin, that's a good question, and I'm glad you asked. Behind me, if you guys are just tuning in, I purchased a tire machine, newly purchased tire machine. Uh, I want to be able to change out my own tires. Uh, my last experience going to a tire shop. Um, I just decided at that point, I'm not going to be depending on 
somebody else to do my tires for me. I'm going to be able to do my own tires. Uh, my tire man, a good guy. Uh, he's always done my tires for me. Um, but he works alone. So I didn't want to keep bothering the guy. So I said, you know what? I'll just buy my own tire machine and I don't have to worry about leaving my, my garage when I want to mount it. So I purchased this tire machine here recently and I want to give you guys a good look at it. I can do uh, car tires. I can actually do motorcycle tires. So it's a good machine. It's a good investment. Uh, I have some more work that I'm going to be doing on my gold wing a little bit later. And I didn't want to be running back and forth to a tire man. I just want to be able to uh, do my own tires. And I'll be uh, showing you guys some later videos on how it actually works. So, but yeah. Where'd you pick that thing up at? Uh, say what there, Dustin? I actually bought it from a company um, online and uh, I actually had it uh, shipped to the garage. They brought it out on a, uh, actually it was a tractor trailer. Um, this thing weighs about, Dustin, I think if my memory serves me right, it's somewhere in the neighborhood about 700 pounds. I mean, it's heavy. It's not light wow. at all. They actually had to take a pallet jack, uh, two men on a, on a tractor trailer. Uh, they lowered it down on the pallet jack and they actually brought it into the garage for me. So this thing is actually, it's, it's heavy. It's not, it's not light at all. Um, I actually had to, uh, assemble it. I didn't, uh, do any video on that. Um, but you know, I think it's a good investment, you know, being able to do my own tires. Um, like I said, you can pick them up online. You can pick them up on eBay. It depends on where you want to buy them. Um, but it's, it's a good investment. If you're going to be doing a lot of tires, if you, if you're only going to be doing, you know, a couple of tires every blue moon, um, you know, it's, it's, it's expensive to have one of these things. But for me, you know, I, I got to have it here in my garage. I got too much going on. You know me, I'm always changing tires. That, that thing looks perfect. What's the brand on that big bad mama Gemma? <laughs> <laughs> I like that thing, man. That's nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, and actually, I've actually, uh, for some of you people that, you know, viewers that just uh, watching this video, Dustin actually does his tires manually. And I've actually watched uh, one of your videos where you actually changed. It was an older video you did about maybe uh, several years ago. And you posted it maybe a year ago. And you actually changed uh, one of your tires. And, uh, I thought, man, that's impressive because I've tried to manually change one of my tires and it's, it's extremely hard if you don't have the right tools. I'm going to be honest with you. If you don't have the right tools. Man, it's just hard when you do have the right yeah, tools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ones I have. That's, it is well, I'm always trying to improve it because it's, it's I'm getting too old for that mask, man. I need that, I need that power equipment, though. Yeah. I've seen that. That's the first thing I saw as soon as you went live. I was like, oh, uh -uh, I got the call on that, man. That's the, yeah. And that's I, something right there. I even got the check it look at that dust and I even got the I even got the, the disco light on it, man. I, <laughs> I can have a party with this tire machine. I, <laughs> I, I, well, I, that's what you need though. That'll that'll get that drive guard with that steel that real rigid sidewall. You need something like that. Cause when uh when Gizmo came to my house, we tried to do his manual. Uh we got one side on and, and I even with all the stuff I had I couldn't hold the tire in the center of the rim well enough to, to be able to get the other side on. So we had to we had to throw in the towel and take it to the tire shop to get the other side put on. Yeah. Is uh, but yeah, I I've been looking I've been thinking real serious about getting one, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to call you back on the private line one day and try to find out a little bit more details on it. Yeah, you gotta call me on the private line, the private line, but the public line, nine oh one. Four six eight nine zero three two. If you wanna call in and tell me what was your favorite Caliente video. I'm going to give you a Caliente flag. If you can tell me what was your favorite Caliente video and what you liked about it and why. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Dustin. Why? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely love it, Dustin. I, I, you know, I'm so happy with it. I can change my own tires. And like you said, it's tough. Even, even manually with the right tools, it's tough. Uh, this machine, uh, it takes, it takes the, uh, the back breaking out of it. You know, it's a, it's a must have. So, yeah. yes, it's a good it's a good investment. So I'll be doing some videos a little bit later to show you guys how it actually works. I may have to, I 
I'm gonna have to get me a drive car, one of them drive cars, and uh, I've been wondering if that stiffer side one, how that feels like. So I might bring, I might just bring it up there and uh, give you a try, give it a run for some money, see if it work. Oh yeah, well you know, you come on down. You know, like the Price is Right, come on down. You're the next contestant. <laughs> Picked up some. We'll see. We'll see how the tire works. You know, I'm <laughs> yeah. My time is real short, but uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. That'd be, be fun, man. How was Funny Girl well, doing? I'm gonna hold your line up. I know you got folks uh, probably dying to call in so they get that flag. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off and uh, I'll just be watching. You know, I'm actually surprised. Dustin, the phone line ain't been lit up as much. Really? But if they call yeah. and they tell me what's their favorite Caliente video, I'm gonna give them a free Caliente flag, free of charge. Free of charge before you go in. You been, you been, uh, you know. So. Was that, was that that song that uh, Eminem, you say? What about Dre? Who forgot about Dre? <laughs> 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 now, Chris ain't going nowhere. I'm here, y'all. Uh, now, Albert Ferrara, he asks, "What is your method to balance your tires?" That's a very good question, Albert. That's a very good question, and I'm glad you asked. How do I balance my tires? Well, for me personally. I have the Centromatic wheel balancers. I picked them up on wingstuff.com and uh, I can put uh, put a link in the description of this video as well if you like to pick up Centromatic wheel balancers. Uh, the thing I like about the Centromatic wheel balancers is that you just mount them on the wheel or on your bike and you don't have to do any more balancing. You know, as the tire wear, a lot of people may not know this, but when you first balance your tire let's say you get a new tire you put it on your rim you get it balanced that tire is perfectly balanced well as the tire wears out with all of the riding and hitting bumps and and just riding and wearing the rubber down that tire actually loses its balance but the thing i like about the centromatic wheel balancers like i have is that the centromatics are always readjusting to balance the wheels so your tires is going to always be balanced regardless of how much the tire uh, is being worn down. So how do I balance my tires? I use the Centromatic wheel balancers. Now, if you guys want to do the traditional balancing, that works as well. When you get the tire mounted, you can do the traditional wheel balancing. Some guys even use balancing beads. But for me, I use the Centromatic wheel balancers and I may Depending on how things go, I may even buy a tire balancing machine um, later if uh, if it's warranted. Right now, I don't have the machine. I just use the Centromatic wheel balancers. So I just want to put that out there. If you guys have any questions or if you want to call in, the phone line is wide open. 901-468-9032. If you want to get on with Chris and just call just to say hello. Nine zero one four six eight nine zero three two. Talk a little bit about that. The, what what are those? Uh, the centromatic that goes between the uh, the wheel and the axle is it, um, does it go uh, next to the rotor? What where does that fit in there? Uh, talk a little bit about that, as well as the cost that uh, involved in that. Step step stand by. We're going to come back to your question right quick. I got a call. Uh, Right. And I'll say this about Centromatics. If this is right, I mean, I think it, it, they balance as you wear the tire. That got rid of all the cupping. I used the uh, balancing beads for years, which work great. They do work. Step. But I noticed I would eventually get cupping, but with the, the Centromatics, I never got cupping anymore. Stand by one second, Dustin. Stand by one second. Stand by one second there, Dustin. Right. Go ahead, caller. You're on with Caliente Live in the Caliente Garage. Go ahead. How you doing, man? Gary live here. Hey, Gary. Hey, what's going on? Turn your radio, turn, turn your uh, your the audio down if you can. I got a little feedback on on the phone here. Okay. What about now? Yeah, you sound loud and clear. Go ahead. You said it's Gary okay. Lott. How you been, man? I've been doing pretty good, man. I've been doing fine. Fantastic, fantastic. Listen, I'm not gonna hold you and everything. I just got a question for you. I if got. You can I, send me a link. I want to hook up a trailer hitch to my 2010 wing. And I bought it used, the trailer hitch, which oh. was a uh, uh, karaoke. Okay. And uh, it had lights with it. And I wanted the light kit, uh, you know, the wires that splices into, ties into your turn signals and all of that. Right. So if you can possibly track something like that down for me, 
and send me a link where I can get that those wiring to, I mean, they got the little plug-ins on the end of it, and that comes from the little lighted uh, mud flap that's on the bottom of the trailer here. Right. And uh, because uh, I'm, we're going to wing thing this year, and I hope to see you guys there. Right. And everything, my, my fiance and I. And uh, I wanted to pull the trailer for her. Okay. And everything, but I want to light it, pull, you know, uh, put that trailer hitch on there. And uh, so if you can send me a link, God bless you, Dustin, and all the rest of you, Caliente, you know, cowboy and sister cowgirl out in Texas. Chris, you have got me, you're doing a phenomenal job. Keep up the great work, man. We love you. And uh, like I say, please send me that link as quickly as you can. Uh, uh, if you know anybody that's done that, maybe cruise man or whatever. Let, let me let me make sure I follow you. Let me make sure I follow you. You you want to be able to uh, hook a trailer up to your 2010 Gold Wing, correct? And well, no, the, I have the trailer. You got the trailer. I want to be able to start pulling it, I, and I want to install my trailer hitch. Right. I bought a used trailer hitch. Correct. Which is the car yacht. Right. Is it on the and bike? Is it mounted on the bike? It on my bike? Is the hitch is on the bike now? Is a hitch mounted on the bike now, or you just have it ready to be installed? No, I have it. I want to install it on the bike. Okay, gotcha. The only reason what, what kind of held me back was the fact that I didn't have the plug-ins to splice into my system, my uh, light, and I don't like to go and cut wires and all that other stuff, Let, and oh. I thought maybe that there was some sort of kit that you can buy or whatever, and I've been looking online uh, and everywhere, but I thought maybe that it was a kit. Uh, if I have to replace the the light kits, you know, the plug and play kit. Right. To hook up to the bike. Right. So right now you don't have the trailer wiring harness coming out of the bike. There's no wires there. You want to be able to tie in to the bike to be able to hook up that trailer that you currently have. Right. 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 So that it, it should be a kit. Uh, you can actually go to, um, you could actually go to Karaoke website okay. and you can put in your year making model of your bike and you can put into the search menu trailer wiring harness. Okay. And super. yes, super. Carrie, you can should make a light kit for your 2010 Gold Wing that you can plug it in, get it connected to the bike, and then you can tie your trailer to that that harness. Okay. Are yeah. you guys going to be at Wing Ding 4.2? Uh, I might be. It just depends on uh, that, what the situation looks like, you know, with the COVID right. virus. Uh, you, I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm registered, you know, for this year. Right. Let me ask. So, let me ask you a question, Gary. Uh huh. If I tell everybody I'm coming to Wing Ding and everybody say I'm coming to Wing Ding to see Chris, do you think that the GWRRA is going going to um, do anything for me? You think they will? What do you think they're going to oh, do? Yeah. I mean, I, there's no doubt in my military mind, Chris. I, listen, I'm going to be there to support you. I'm going to support everybody else, but I'm telling you now, I'm coming, I'm going to find wherever you set up. I missed you at 41. Right. At, at, at up in Nashville and everything. I, I left a little bit early with the group that I was riding with, but I said, I will stick around this year. I, I did get a chance to meet Black Flash and everything, so my fiance is up there with him. In Lawton, Oklahoma, and everything. So I'm riding back to Lawton with them. Okay. Wednesday, hopefully, if nothing happens, the Lord's willing. And uh, but like I say, man, I, I'm looking forward to seeing you face to face. You've been great. You've been a fantastic motivator and encourager to me, and then uh, tons and billions of other people. So okay. keep up the great work, man. And we okay. love you. And and like I say, and Dustin down there, and I think is where's Mississippi? Where's Dustin's from? And yeah, Mississippi. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Want to see y'all? Well, yeah. I I will say this: if enough people want me to come to Wing Ding, I will come to Wing Ding. Well, I'm I'm gonna put the word out there, and I'm especially from the Independent Motorcycle Association, and we're gonna say, listen, we're gonna promote Chris Caliente and the Caliente Garage and the Caliente folks, and we want him there and mm -hmm. everything. One of the and uh, I'm gonna be one of your biggest advocates from now on in. And I'm sure Dustin will as well and the rest of them. But we want to see you there. Okay. I appreciate it, Gary Lott. Hey, where are you calling from, Gary Lott? South Carolina. 
South Carolina. I appreciate you, man. All right. No, appreciate you more. Oh, okay. Chris, listen, God bless you, man. You and yours and uh, through all of this COVID thing and everything. I hope you guys continue doing well and continue to, to, to support us out there with all your vast knowledge on the wings. Okay. Appreciate you, Gary. Thank you, man. All right. Calling God in bless from South you, Carolina. Care, we love you. All right. Thank you, Gary. All right. Bye-bye. All right. And that was Gary Lott calling from South Carolina asking if I'm going to be at Wingding this year. Yeah, He's got a long ride to go, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Wingding is a, is a big event for Gold Wing Riders. And, uh, yeah. you know, I often get that question, am I coming to Wingding? Um, I guess if enough people want me to be there and they reach out to me, uh, I just may make it possible. If you guys want me to come to Wingding, put that down in the comment section below. Well, if you guys want to call me, the phone line is wide open. Where are they holding it? I missed that. So what, Dustin? Where are they holding Wingding this year? They're going to be happening in Springfield, Missouri, uh, the same place they was going to have it last year. But when COVID hit, they canceled it. So uh, they're going to have it back into the same. They're going to have it back in the same place. And uh, I think it's going to be right at. It's going to be going into the 4th of July weekend, which I think is not going to be really good for a lot of people. But that's the date they they're going to have Wingding um, just before the uh, I think it's going to end right at 4th of July. Yeah. So if anybody have the Wingding dates and want to uh, let me know, uh, feel free to you can call in 901-468-9032. And we're on with Dustin right now. We got JC on the line. Uh, Dustin, you got anything else for us, man? Um, no, not really. I was just, I was just super interested in that, uh, awesome time machine you got there. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at that. And, uh, we didn't sound like it'd be a good deal. If you decide to go, I'll definitely see if I could talk Laura into it. If everything, everything works out real good, see if she could go too. That'd be great. I'd love to come bring her up there. Okay, we got... Elton Carr that says greeting from Motown, the Motor City snack pack. Uh, Bruce Bertrand. Bruce says, what's the best brand fork brace for an 03 Gold Wing? You guys are the best. Uh, that's a good question, Bruce. Uh, on my bike, I have the super brace. Um, they have several fork braces that you can buy. I think Triaxon make a brace. Super brakes, uh, super brace makes a, a brace. Um, That's the one I would use. Was Trixon or Super Brace? The Super Brace. Yeah. I couldn't really tell. You know, I have to admit, I couldn't really tell the difference. I had a Voyager, and it was in the uh, Kawasaki used to actually mention that even in their own factory, right there with their fire and steel accessories. Right. So when I bought the bike, I just had the dealer go ahead and put it on. So I never rode without it. So I can't. I don't have a before and after. When I bought the bike, it had the Super Brace on it. Now, as far as the Honda Goldwing, uh, I've heard mixed reviews on the Super Brace. Some say they can tell a difference, and some say they can't. You know. Yeah. Well, I actually have the Super Brace on mine, um, and and for some of you riders that may not know, the fork brace uh, is used to prevent. Uh, fork flex um, right and i have the super brace i absolutely love it i think that going back to uh bruce's bertram question i think that any fork brace is better than no fork brace so i'm not i don't want to i don't want to endorse a certain brand i think having a fork brace is better than no brace so to me if it's made from a reputable company i think it's better than not having a brace at all so in my personal opinion Whichever one that, you know, you select, whether it's a Traxxon or a Super Brace or another brand uh, that you may find, I think having a fork brace on your gold wing is better than having no brace at all, in my personal opinion. Yeah. yeah. So. That might be something I look into down the road. I know the Super Brace, for some reason, on the, uh, the wing, they've gone up. There were more on the 1800 than they were on the 1500. But I know if Max McAllister makes one, you know it's going to be good. It's going to be good, yeah. <laughs> Max, he picks that, that gold wing apart. Uh, Dustin, do you have a fork, fork brace on your bike? 
No, I, I never did put one. I didn't put one on. I have one on my GL fifteen hundred. I had a super brace on it, and uh, then I put paper bearings on there, and it was perfect. And on my O two GL eighteen hundred I have now, I just went before I did anything. I put on the paper steering head bearings. I mean, it, it, that thing was perfect. It was like riding on a rail. It was, it was real good. So I think, I think if you have a problem. The super brace is good, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I would think start with putting the steering head bearings. Uh, it's not that expensive, it's not really that hard. I mean, if you do it yourself, you pay, pay for it, but if you pay somebody to do it, but it's not that difficult to do yourself, I don't think. Um, but, you know, I got a 20 ton press, so that's kind of cheap too. But it, I think I got more out of the steering head bearings than I got out of the super brace on the old bike. But I don't, I don't know, I, have a, I don't have one on mine, I don't have any issues. I've got, you know, I'm double dark side, i got the, the BT-45 in the front, car tire on the back, and, and the all bottles tape bags in the, in the uh, steering head, and man, it's great. It feels real good. I don't get any of that slow speed wobble or nothing, it's perfect. Right. Yeah, we're live in the Caliente Garage. If you guys got any questions, uh, we're going to run this about another 20 minutes, about another 20 minutes. I'm going to end this. So if you guys want to call in, if you want to tell me your favorite Caliente video, I'm going to give you a free Caliente flag for your Gold Wing, the official flag of the Caliente Gold Wing Riders. So you want to call in 901-468-9032 if you guys have any questions or any comments, anything you want to add to this uh, live feed here in the Caliente Garage. And Dan Gray has posted a link to a black Can-Am RT622 trailer. If you guys know a Can-Am trailer for sale, you can call me at 901-468-9032. I know somebody that is interested. I know someone that is interested. I'm going to let them know right now. Uh, Dustin, what type of trailer do you you have on your bike? Uh, I think mine is a timeout uh, trailer. It's a Zephyr. I think it's a 2006. It's made by timeout. A timeout. Okay, okay. I think having a trailer on your motorcycle is is a must have. I know you got a lot of bikers that I've heard some bikers say, I'm, "I'll get a trailer when I become an old man." Man, once you pull a trailer, there's there's nothing better. I mean, you can carry all your things with you. Uh, your wives can shop, and I mean, you can just make your riding experience uh, more enjoyable. So I just want to put that out there. So if you guys know a Can Am six twenty two trailer that's for sale, call me at nine zero one four six eight nine zero three two, or just post it down in the comment section below. JC, are you planning on pulling a trailer? Ah. At this point, Chris, I don't know. I hadn't, I hadn't made any plans to get one. Um, I did plan this year to probably make my bike trailer ready. Um, I'm gonna uh, put a hitch and a wiring harness on it. Uh, I don't, just in case one of those special deals pop up, you never know when, you know. And I will be able to actually get one if I decide to, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make it trailer ready this year. Right. Yeah, I think, you know? man, you can't beat it. Uh, you guys can see my Can-Am trailer. Um, I actually uh, wiped it off, knocked the dust off of it a little bit. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting it out soon, getting some riding in here soon. And uh, I absolutely just love it. Uh, again, if you guys got a trailer, you want to get it painted, uh, you can give my painter a call. His name is Chris. He's at Horizon Trikes. And he does an excellent job, an excellent job. I just want to put that out there. Anybody that may uh, need a trailer painted. Yeah, he did a remarkable job on the paint job. It looked, it looked really good. Thank you. Thank you. So we're live in the Caliente garage. I'm surprised. <laughs> we do it live in the Caliente garage, y'all. If any of you want to get on, we're going to wrap this up probably in about 20, 
more minutes, 20 more minutes. Yeah. What's going on, Wes? Wes is out of D.C. What's going on, Wes? I see you, my brother. Ricky Mad Dog, how you doing? Elton Carr. What's going on? There's a lot of people watching right now. Jason said in all balls. So Jason said get the all balls. Yep. Michael Michael McPhee says he have a question concerning the Cardo Pack Talk. Do they make a free wire type device like a Cena so you won't lose your CB? Or can you use a Cardo Pack with the Cena free wire? You know, that's a that's a very good question. I've been getting um, some questions about that. As a matter of fact, I had someone to email me pretty much asking the same question. And I'm going to read his email. This was sent to me uh, about the Cena free wire. He says, howdy. Hi, Chris. Thank you for all of your videos. I enjoy them and have watched many of them over the years, though I don't have a gold wing. Well, at least until tomorrow, I enjoyed my other bikes, but I am picking up a 2010 tomorrow. My question is. I've watched the Cena Freewire videos that you posted, and I was curious. Are you still. OK, I was I'm curious I'm reading this the way he actually put it out there. Sometimes when you read it the way it's it's written, it may not sound, um, it may not flow as good. He basically said, I watched the scene of free wire videos and was curious. Is you still using this after three years or if you have a better system for these older bikes? I know the 2018s have a system built in, but has anything come along that you like better? I don't recall seeing any videos of a better Bluetooth system. I know this is far better than the original way you rigged up. But what do you do these days? So people are asking me about being able to communicate on your car, though, on a CB radio. This is what I can tell you um, that my setup is rigged up. But for the viewers that's watching this video, if you want to be able to talk on your CB wirelessly, you're going to have to get a center. Cardo does not make a device like the center free wire that allows you to connect to your gold wing to talk on your CB wirelessly. You are either going to have to plug in a wired helmet like a JNM straight through the five pin den cable on your Honda Goldwing or you're going to have to purchase a center and you're going to have to connect to a center free wire in order to talk on your CB radio. So that that's the best information that I can give you as as it relates to the Cardo. You're not going to be able to communicate on your Cardo via the CB radio on the gold wings prior to 2018 on the newer gold wings the 2018 and newer you can bluetooth your car though to that bike and you can talk on the cb radio but if it's prior to the 2018 model it's not gonna work and also let me add this uh i actually talked to cardo and i basically petitioned him and i don't want to use the word beg but i pretty much begged and ask Cardo to make a device like the Cena free wire that will allow the Honda Goldwing riders to be able to talk on their CB radio wirelessly. I tried to convince them. I told them I would even help them market it. And they basically said to me that that's not the direction that they want to go in. So, mm. um, yeah, I, I was disappointed as well because when you really think about it, there are more GL1800 bikes than there are 2018s and newer. I mean, how often do you see a pack of 2018 gold wings going down the highway? Right. You're going to, you know, so, you know, and people are slowly buying the 2018. They're buying them, the 2019s and the 20s. You know, people are buying them. But if you look at the numbers, 
you're going to see more GL 1800s on the road than you're going to see the newer gold wings. And I tried to convince Cardo to make a device like the Cena Freewire that would allow those GL 1800s to connect to their Cardo so they can communicate on their CB radios. But they don't believe that gold wing riders use CB radios. I guess to them is outdated. So their exact words to me is that we're we're going in a different direction. So the bottom line is this. The takeaway is this out of everything I've said about the Cena Freewire and the Cardo. Here's a takeaway. If you want to be able to use your Gold Wing CB radio wirelessly, I would recommend that you purchase a Cena. I would recommend that you purchase a Cena. Now, I'm sure the Cena 50 will connect to the free wire. I know the 30 will and I think the 20 will. But the Cardo will not connect to the free wire. It will connect to the free wire, but you won't be able to transmit. You can only listen. So the takeaway is if you want to be able to talk on your center wirelessly. You're going to have to buy a center. If you want to be able to talk on your going wirelessly, you're going to have to buy a center. So it's I, really I, unfortunate if they uh, won't uh, build a product or manufacture a product like that because there's a lot of people with Cardo that still like to use the CB radio. Uh, a, a good uh, uh, situation would, would be, a good example would be when, like if you have more than 15, the Cardo has a limit. You know, when you get a bunch of guys riding using the CB radio, there is no limit. Right. And, uh, you know, it's been times we made videos, Chris, using the CB radio. Right. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not outdated. It's actually, a, you know, a good step, a good machine to use. Right. You know? And I, I totally agree with you, JC. Um, I'm sorry, I was re- I was responding back to uh, one of the viewers. Uh, my apologies. Uh, I totally agree with you, JC. Um, I still use my CB radio. A lot of times when you're traveling, if you guys are going to be traveling on the road, you're going out of town, you may be on the interstate and everything is going good. You know, you, you, you're having the, the best of times. You're riding down the road. And all of a sudden, the traffic starts slowing down. The traffic slows down. It comes to a stop. Then you start asking yourself, what the heck is going on? Everybody's coming to a stop. You're looking on the opposite side of the interstate. The traffic is rolling freely. No problem. But on your side, all you see is brake lights. Then you start asking yourself, what is going on? Is there an exit? Can I get off? What's going on? And and the thing I like about the CB radio is that you can turn on your CB radio, go to channel 19 where all of the truckers and they're going to be talking. They're going to say the left lane is closed. The left lane is open. Get off at this exit. There's an overturned vehicle. Uh, there's, there's an old lady crossing the street. They're going to let you know what's going on. So yeah. with that CB radio, it's going to give you a heads up. You're going to know, look, I need to get off. Because traffic is going to be tied up for hours or it may just be something simple like uh, somebody had a flat in the road or old lady driving. You know, you're going to be able to know in advance what to do next. Because if you're traveling, let's say you ride in east. uh, And now the traffic comes to a stop. What do you do? Do I get off? You know, do I do I continue? Do I stay? So you start asking yourself these questions and you don't know the answer. But if you had a CB radio on your bike, the truckers are going to tell you left lane closed, left lane open, uh, vehicle overturn, uh, you know, whatever's going on. So the CB is very effective. It's very effective. Phones are great. But, you know, if you're talking to somebody on the phone, they don't know what's going on on the interstate, you know, a mile up the road from you. So that CB is going to put you in real time with the truckers. All the truckers have them. They're going to be on channel 19. Uh, a lot of times they're just listening, sitting back, reading the mail. And when the traffic come to a stop or the traffic come to a slowdown, 
the truckers are going to go to those CBs radio and they're going to start talking and you're going to be able to hear everything they're saying. So that's one of the advantages of having a CB radio. So Cardo, if you're watching this video, uh, just know that CBs are very effective. They're old, but they're very effective and going riders still use them. We still love them. So I just want to put that out there and hopefully Cardo is paying attention to this live feed. So we're on, yeah. we got JC on the line. We talking about biker maintenance. We're talking about my new tire machine. As you guys can see, that's behind me as Dustin call it a uh, behemoth, a, <laughs> a monster, the big Dustin call it the big mama jamma. You guys can see my tire <laughs> machine. That's behind me. Absolutely love it. Uh, newly purchased. Now I can change my own tires and I don't have to break my back trying to do it. Chris, you're going to have to change the, the Caliente garage into Chris's tire and auto. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, Chris is tired, Chris is tired and auto, huh? Yeah, you you may be on you may be on to something. You may be on to something, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Chris so I'm, is tire and cycle shop. Chris tire and cycle shop, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. So Andre Stevenson said, "Reading the mail sounds like a experience." Skip talkie. Yeah, reading the mail. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Jordan says i need advice to listen to my music via my bluetooth on my 2004 honda Goldwing. he needs advice listening to his music via bluetooth on his 2000 unfortunately the gl 1800 didn't come bluetooth their flagship motorcycle is not bluetooth so that means you're gonna have to get a okay. out the market bluetooth to hook it on your bike in order to connect to your helmet. And I put out a video um, while, a while back showing you how to Bluetooth your Gold Wing and connect it to your helmet. And that will allow you to be able to uh, Bluetooth your helmet uh, to your Gold Wing. So that's in my library. Um, if you want to just look up Caliente uh, Bluetooth Honda Gold Wing. Uh, the device that I used was purchased from uh, Electrical Connection out of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. And that device will pair up to your headset and that would allow you to listen to music. JC, do you have the Electrical Connection uh, Bluetooth on your on your going? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, that one's a no-brainer. You know, uh, when they came out with that, first time I saw it, I just called them and said, send me one. And they were sold out. When they first came out with that, they had uh, they stayed on back order. But yeah, I've had it now for uh, several years. I had it before uh, I had the Cena. Okay. Yeah, just because I was able to, uh, you know, listen to the, the phone. I would use it, you know, for... Before that, I would use my phone, you know, the, the navigation would come through the stereo speaker, but it was nice to be able to put on the headset, you know, and, right. uh, and, and be able to hear everything from my phone through my, uh, my headset. And, uh, cause you know, I use the J&M as well as the car, the, I have a, a wireless as well as a wired headset. And with that particular, with, with the electrical connection device, you can use you can use it with your wired set, with your headset, your J and M headset. But uh, it does make your it does make your bike Bluetooth in a sense because you can use your phone. Uh, you, know, you can't talk on the phone with it. It's a one way, but you can use it for the music as well as the navigation on your phone. I was reading Michael's Michael McPhee. His comment says the Cardo pack is a lot better than the center. I wish they would reconsider your proposal or request. Yep. Uh, Sean, yep. Sean Eakins. He says to be able to use the CB with the Cardo would be nice. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that's what I tried to tell Cardo, man. Um, 
you know, I love my Cardo. I think they're great headsets. They work absolutely great. The last video I actually posted, I talked about how Cardo failed to uh, add the delete option uh, to their app. If you guys watch that video, um, like I said, I, I love Cardo. I think they're a great headset, but I think they kind of dropped the ball in that department. I think they need to do an update and add that delete option because when you go to add a rider and you're maxed out, it's not fair to delete the entire group just to be able to pair one rider. You need that delete option. So I think Cardo really needs to listen to the people that actually uses their headsets they need to add that delete option and like many of you are saying that cardo need to make a device that allow that will allow you to connect your your cardo to your your go wing via bluetooth so you can use your cb radio but cardo told me that they're headed in another direction now what does that mean you guys tell me 901-468-9032 is the phone line if you want to get in on this feed.